Hello and welcome to Bollywood Hangamas Hangout. This is the show where stars meet their fans and fans get to meet their favorite star. We are at Wilson College and uh, we have a very excited audience. A big hand to yourself. We have the star of Ae Watan Mere Watan, Tara Ali Khan. Make all the noise that you all want, guys. You're looking absolutely lovely as you always do, Sara. Looking gorgeous, isn't she? Hello, hello. How nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello, everybody. It's so lovely to be back to college. Feels lovely to be here, and uh, I'm very, very excited. It's kind of special to be at the college where Usha Mehta yes. was an alumni. Yes. Uh, but that aside, also. I just think it's like a lot of nostalgia to just be back to college in general. Seeing all of you here, it's I'm missing my college. Right, big hand to Sara. Sara, please take a seat. Different. Okay, guys, can we? Uh, guys, them? sorry, I have I have some questions very quickly. Have you guys seen the trailer of Evatan Mere Vatan? Okay, and have you seen our new song Katra Katra? For all those that haven't, you must go now and watch it. It's a very nice song. It's one of my favorite songs. I wouldn't just say that. Maybe I would, but I'm not. <laughs> I actually mean it. So please do watch it, and I hope that you guys like it. It's a different kind of film for me. So, guys, that's one assignment from Sara. You all have to do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we are going to move on to the show. We'll talk about the film to start with. We'll play some fun games, some rapid fire. We will come to you all for some questions. So please think of some good fun questions for Sara. Okay. Who all have questions? Good. Okay, and then we'll do our usual rapid fire, or just me. Amko sabko maza aata hai. So let's start with the film, Sara. Sara, I want to talk about the film because I have seen the film, and I have thoroughly. I'm saying it on camera. I have thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a great film. Sara is terrific. I can't wait for you all to watch it. Uh, Sara, very well done for starters. Thank you. Right. Uh, nervous, little bit. Very nervous, honestly. I think that um, this is one of the first times that it is the first time that I'm doing a film in this genre. It's very different from anything I've ever done before. You know, I think that, especially from all of you, I think I've gotten a lot of love for Namaste Darshako and Knock Knock and being funny and being bindas and all those things. And this is not that. Yeah. This is absolutely different from any of that. There's no glamour. There's no chaka chak. There's no aank mare. There's no, um, you know, spunky nature. Even though I think that the spunk of Usha's spirit is maybe spunkier than anything I've portrayed before. I think that her beauty lies in her inner fortitude, and lies in her conviction in herself, as well as never losing perspective of the larger aim and the larger goal. And I think that it's been maybe one of the most inspirational stories that I've heard, and definitely the most inspirational character I've tried to portray. So it's very, very different from anything that y'all are used to. But uh, I hope that you guys like it and watch it and appreciate it because it's different. Nice, you know, Sara. We are so. What you said is so right. You know, we are so used to seeing. You having fun, you know, with your shyery and with all the all the Instagram content that you give us, along with the you know Aank Mare and you know these kind of very peppy songs and you know very peppy films. Uh, here comes a Sara, which I was I, I'll be very honest. You know, I had that question that you know how will she pull it off? It's such a different and challenging role. She's never done this before. The first time is always challenging for any actor. Sara, when they came to you, what was their brief? What was on your mind? You know, this is a, this is a very different role. I think you know, honestly, I've said this before, that as an actor, what's most important for me is to be versatile. I don't think that anything fun or worthy comes out of just being in the comfort zone all the time. So I was very excited actually to play something not just different to the characters that I've portrayed, but also different to who I thought I was. And what I actually discovered at the end of this journey was that there might actually be elements of Usha that I have deep within me that I haven't maybe gotten the chance to express. I can also be sensitive. I can also be strong. I can also have a. Of course, the stakes of the Indian national movement were incomparable to our life today. But there is a fire in me that says, "Do or die," and. 
you know, maybe I don't actually mean die because the death penalty was a serious threat in 1942 and unless you do something really wrong, it's not today. But, you know, so I, do, I don't mean it to that level. But of course, I think that inner fire is definitely there within me. But when I was approached for this film, I was, of co I was definitely apprehensive. I was nervous. I was like, will I be able to pull it off? But I think trusting Karnan sir has been a very rewarding experience because much like Usha, his spirit is so soft, so gentle, so subtle. But behind that is an extremely clear, brave and strong gentleman. So I just had to really kind of follow the beats of his instructions and try to be more honest to myself. This is the kind of film where it was about your journey within more than anything. So it was different and exciting. Nice. You know, one thing we all take for granted is uh, freedom. You know, we all have it since we were born. We are free. You all are here. We are chatting with you all. It's about a movie. Our life is great fun because, you know, we take, we have this freedom. They didn't have that. We, you know, she used the, the medium of radio to spread the word. We will use all the mediums we have to tell you her story. And so, you know, we should, uh, Sarah, talk about her and tell, you know, I don't know how many of y'all know about Usha Mehta. How many of y'all know, so you saw the trailer y'all said, how many of y'all know something more about her? Right. So honestly, sorry to interrupt, but this is exactly how I felt. I didn't know about Usha Mehta. I'm a history and political science major. And I pride myself in that. But I had no idea who this lady was. And I think that's why telling this story is so, so, so important. Because kya hota hai, when we talk about the Indian freedom struggle, most often, at least, you know, at the risk of sounding sexist, like I see a strong man with like big biceps doing, you know, kranti on the roads. That's what you imagine. There's a slightly masculine overtone to that word, you know. And when you say bravery also, just external to the freedom struggle, you see brute force, you see physical strength. But this is not that. This is, I think, a story that epitomizes bravery and strength. But it's a woman's story. It's a soft story. It's a story of subtle... How do I even put it? It's, it's a story of sacrifice beyond what you would expect. Somebody that... Sac celibacy. Somebody that sacrifices love, somebody that sacrifices their family, their existence, their security, their comfort for the larger goal and never loses sight of that. This is a story of somebody that recognized that in 1857, why did we lo lose the mutiny? Because we didn't have a way to communicate. And that's when Usha Mehta realized that why don't we use the radio? Why don't all the freedom fighters... All the leaders, Congress leaders at that time, were in the jail. So how do we use them to motivate and inspire people? Because wo to jail mein. She started this idea of, she thought of recording speeches and broadcasting those speeches from her radio channel so as to inspire the people in the hour that they most needed it. I mean, I just think that in today's day and age, like even for somebody like me, it's difficult to understand the importance of the radio. We listen to radio like we can change seven channels on our way when people are going, puck, puck, you change and gana lag jata hai, oh maza aya. But imagine a time where radio was a novel idea. Be before Instagram, before the digital age, before any of that. The only way to communicate. I mean, and, and to use that at that time to say, you know what, this is how we are going to use a new technology to galvanize the Indian national movement. I think it was just genius and it really did help strengthen communication, transmit the important messages that were needed and kind of was a very, very integral part of the Quit India movement. And I think it's just gone untold in stories. And I think it's a story that needs to be told. Right. You know, she's explained it beautifully. So in 1942, the Quit India movement was happening. British had completely banned radios. Nobody could, there could be no radio station. That's where the term radio silence came. You know, radio silence, when we say, radio silence, that's how it started. Um, here's a woman who's thought, ki, Chalo, let's, even if it's illegal, let's just go ahead, do or die, because Gandhiji has said it. 
she just followed you tell us uh, sara when you're playing someone like her when you when you're in character you know her equation with her father was also not her father served the british she was against the british, british judge he was right he was a british judge so imagine what you know you tell us what did you observe about this father daughter relationship i live with my mom right i and i i think i'm a lot like her because my mother for me is an inspiration but she's also somebody that i have landed up mimicking only because i live with her what i think is very interesting about usha is that her sense of identity and her sense of being was so connected to her patriotic spirit and her country that it even defied who her father was her ideologies were distinct from those at home aksar ye hota hai ki ghar pe maa pooja paath karti hai hum pooja paath karte hain father kuch karte hai to hum wo karte hain it's it's not um, unusual to be inspired by what's at home but i think to break away from an ideology that's at home and to stand up for what you think is right is is something new yeah. it's it's something different i think that it's that's when you know that it's an inner voice and it's a very strong inner voice because it would have been easy for her to say you know what my father's a british judge he's getting like you know cars from the british he's getting all yeah. the comforts of life and let me just sit and enjoy them but at that point to be able to say no anyay anyay hota hai injustice is injustice and to take a stand i think that is what's really inspirational so of course there was love and respect for her father but i think her ideology was distinct from his yeah. and she meant that she would sacrifice everything including the comforts that her father's privileges had brought her yeah. to fight for what she thought was right which i think is just commendable wow so you know her father what she was saying you know in one scene her father gets a car from the british because he was a judge and she refuses to sit in the car because this is given by them it has their flag so imagine this is a girl a young girl just like you know all of you uh, here in this room uh, who is fighting not just the big system the big war what gandhi ji is saying she is fighting a battle in her house you know that is something that is absolutely incredible and also using think about it today you all have instagram you all have a mobile phone you all have communication you all can call each other today if this show goes on for long you all will call home and someone that you all are late there was no means of communication think of this college that time you know it is an incredible story that's why you all should watch it for sure uh you know again coming back to when you're in character i was asking you there are some really beautiful moments there's a there's a scene where th where the father i think asks her uh if not british then who we keep you know this is such an important dialogue that but she has an answer to that that you know we will run this country imagine a young girl saying that uh sara tell us you know these are very impactful lines do these lines stay with you when you go back home after shooting of course they do and more than the lines i think the thought stays with me you know um there is a line in the film which is not mine where they say angrezo ne hamare sochne samajhne ki shakti bhi chheen li hai you know we all know what indoctrination is right like you you've studied what that is and it's that that's even more scary when you can't even think and you can't even imagine an alternative other than the subjugation that you've been put through and that's actually worse yeah. Be and and that became the problem yeah. and i think in usha what i see and saw was the, a very good mix bit of idealism and pragmatism there was an actual solution yeah. it wasn't just khwabi palao ke ha ho jayega there were real solutions that she came up with this radio was something tangible that she did think of mm -hmm. but it was laced with the idealism of hum chalayenge apna desh mm -hmm. उखाड़ फेंकेंगे उन अंग्रेजों को कैसे उखाड़ फेंकेंगे पता नहीं लेकिन करेंगे और अगर हमारे अंदर ये आ गए तो हो भी जाएगा शायद दैट वॉज द अप्रोच दैट शी हैड एंड आई थिंक दैट वॉट दैट अप्रोच रियली बॉयल्स डाउन टू इज सेल्फ ट्रस्ट वॉट दैट बॉयल्स डाउन टू इज लाइक आई सेट बिफोर इन अ फोर्टीट्यूड कन्विक्शन इन योर ओन स्ट्रेंथ एंड आई डोंट थिंक दैट दैट एज अ कॉन्सेप्ट एज अ थीम इज ओनली लिमिटेड इन इट्स रेलिवेंस to the freedom struggle or to 1942 or to anything other than today i think in 2024 as the youth of the country we should have the same spirit it's very easy to accept mediocrity and be like yaar rehne do but not silencing your voice because we are 
privilege to be born in a secular, sovereign, democratic republic. We have freedom of speech. We have the freedom of thought. And more often than not, I think we are the ones that curtail our voice just because, why? And that is a thought process that I think needs to be changed and I think stands the test of time as far as relevance is concerned, even today. That is absolutely important. Very well said. Uh, you know, you want to tell us a little bit about, so she was running these radio stations from different parts and, you know, they would shift locations. You want to just explain to the people what was that, why was, you know, what, she kept shifting the location of a radio station to different places. You want to tell them why? So that she didn't uh, face the death penalty. That is the short answer. And the reason was that it was illegal to run this radio channel. This radio broadcasting was not permitted. And um, the British had found out because obviously the radio was getting quite a few listeners and it became, you know, cover pehl gai thi. And uh, the British had given orders to find those behind the radio and hang them. And the only way to kind of not be found was to keep moving locations because there was a transmitting kya, kya bolte hai? Uh, device yeah, to, yeah. to track yeah. the transmission. And... Uh, she had to evade that, so she had to run around. Right, so you know, can you imagine today when we find out, suppose suppose someday you find out that cops are looking for you, someone had come to this college asking for your name, how scared you will be. Here she knows there is a police force trying to find her and track her down and then she will go to jail, she may die. But she was absolutely fearless. And then, you know, then we hear of, you know, her, her getting caught eventually and, you know, her, her going to jail. Uh, these were some, these people were made for something else. They really were. I mean, to the point where she, I don't want to say, sure. but I, maybe I should say, I don't know. But uh, there's a point where, when you're arrested, right, like people will use torture, especially, you know, the British in 1942. And at that point of time, it's, I don't even know the kind of strength you have to have to resist that. And Usha was not the only one to be caught, but she was the only one that did not confess, did not name her leader, did not do what her torturers told her to do so as to let her free. And I think that that's extremely, extremely admirable. It's actually one of my favorite scenes in the film where there is a torture process and she's resilient. And I mean, if I can say so myself, like when I watch it, I'm like, that's very cool. That is very admirable, you know, to just be able to stay resilient in a moment like that. You know, it gives us goosebumps, keep, you know, we keep hearing different, different stories, but we don't want to give out much. You all have to watch this on Prime Video. <laughs> it will drop. Yeah, I'm, I'm suddenly feeling like zyada bol diya man. Lekin koi baat nahi. Bilkul bhi nahi. Yeah, you all have to go and watch it. Now, in fact, even all the more, you know, this is a hero story. She was not, this is not a story of, a, of some 200, 300 years ago. This is a real person who was in this property at one point of time. <laughs> Sarah, we'll go and take some audience questions. Please. Are you ready? Before sure. that, you want to tell us, you do feel that films play an important role in telling this country's story and this country is full of stories. You think so? 100%. I think the, uh, films have, uh, you know, for a long time been impactful on the way that we think. But I also think films to a certain degree are a reflection of the way we think. It's a two-way thing. And I really think that at this juncture, the youth and the country needs to hear a story like this. I think that, you know, you guys are educated college students in Wilson College and you didn't know about this extremely impactful alumni of your college. And I am a history major, which I've said before and I'll say again, and I still didn't know about her. And if we don't know about her, there's no way Hamari Aam Janta is Mahila ke baare mein janti hai. And it is a story of a woman that needs to be heard, for sure. And you know, your, uh, your college, your, our whole system across the country will teach us few things. You all have the power of internet to just go and search your name and read endlessly about that person, you know, that movement. So just go and do that. You know, this is just, you all should know about this. We all should. I mean, like she said, nor did I. Like we don't, you know, of course I'd heard because she did visit some colleges back then to for her flag hoisting and things like that, was such a hero. So I'm from that time, I think. Uh, so I'm going to come to you, but Sarah, I'm giving you an option. 
First, you want to ask them some questions or should they ask you some questions? Let's leave it to Sara. First, let them ask. Okay, your turn guys. So, raise your hand and we, a mic will come to you. Hi, Sara. My name is Aril. Hello. Uh, the entire HOPE committee and Wilson College invites you and it's an immense pleasure to see you here. Thank you. Well, I have two interrelated questions to you. First and foremost, like... College students and their questions, I remember how this felt. Now I know how my professors must have felt. You're suddenly like, it's going to be an intelligent question. I don't think so, but anyways. <laughs> uh, like, your first film, Kedar Nath, to now, E Vatan, Mere Vatan. What is that one craft within you that you have changed or evolved during the process of doing so many films and doing a biopic now? It is going to be a bit of pressure playing a role of a person who lived and most of the people know and after this movie many more will get to know what is that thing that you have changed in your craft for this movie and secondly what advice as you right now Sara right now working in a biopic would give the Sara that was younger and was about to play in Kedarnath first thing it's not a biopic it's a story that's inspired by Usha Mehta's life and what that does is gives us a little bit of creative liberty in being able to tell you a story that should inspire you not just limited to Usha Mehta's life but using her as a character to just inspire people in general firstly. Secondly, I think that the honest answer to your question is it's very important to unlearn. As an actor, it's very important to go on to every set with a new mindset so that you can actually create something. And if I'll be even more honest with you, I don't know if there was a lot of unlearning happening between Kedarnath and Atrangire. I think that there was a something confusing happening in 2019 with two films of mine that didn't really pan out the way I expected to, them to. And after Atrangire, I think I kind of got a little bit of my confidence back, which I had fully lost in the middle. And I don't know if it's possible to kind of create and reinvent without confidence. So I think that after Atrangire, that started coming. After Zara Hatke, Zara Bachke got the love and appreciation that it did, more of it started coming. And I think I was finally back to square one. If I can say, I, I'm not going to say that there was leaps and bounds, but I think that after Kedarnath and Simba, I had touched wood been given a lot of love and I'd reached a certain level that then slipped and then it took some time to kind of get back to that. So this is what I'm bringing to you after I have the lost confidence back. So I am really hoping and expecting it to be something special firstly. Secondly, I think that when it comes to a cr the craft for a film like this, it's very different from anything else I've done. So any of those tropes of like, Aray, bindas ladki, aray, glamorous, aray, chaka chak, aray, jaldi jaldi baat kar legi, aray, aise look de degi, wo sab kaam nahi aayega. Aur jab aap ke paas kuch hathiyar nahi hote hain, kyunki wo kaam nahi aate, to aapko nahi hathiyaro ki zarurat padti hai. And I think that is the time where invention and creation really starts to take place. And what I found was that within me, there is an arsenal of self-love that I have been repressing for very long. There is confidence, there is conviction, there is strength. And I think that that just needed to come out on the surface, most importantly, to play a character like this. And then, of course, there was trusting my director and trying to just be as truthful and honest in a situation like that and constantly remaining grateful of the fact that I'm a free citizen today, as are we all, and using that gratitude to enhance my performance because I'm portraying a character that may not be a biopic, but is still a character that does not have that privilege. Multiplied with the fact that I'm privileged to be given the opportunity as Sara Ali Khan to be telling a story like this. I don't know if that answers your question, that but does, this is and, uh, the, the truth. What will this young Sara advise the earlier young Sara? Try to stay as honest to yourself because all the rubbish that you're doing in your head is only gonna make you go on the back foot. So just be honest and organic and real and truthful. Thank nice. you. Nice. Yeah. Who else? Yeah, there. Hi, Sara. I'm Snehal. First of all, how are you? You burnt yourself recently. I would show you, but I don't know if that's appropriate. <laughs> how like, are you? It, are you feeling good now? I'm feeling fine, yeah, but there's a scar now on my stomach. Oh, okay. How updated are they? Like, this is the power of yeah, your This Instagram, is the power yeah. of the internet. Yeah. 
So my question is, you did many great films of different genres. So I just wanted to ask, which is your favorite genres? I honestly feel as an actor, like being versatile is very, very important. I have a film of mine called Murder Mubarak that's releasing on the 15th of March. And then I have a film of mine called Evatan Mere Vatan, which is releasing on the 21st of March. Bambi, which is my character in Murder Mubarak and Usha have absolutely nothing in common. And I think that that is most exciting. The minute I start knowing that this is my comfort zone, I like this genre, I like this character, then it won't be fun. What's more fun is to watch a song of Murder Mubarak and Evatan back to back, which I am doing at home with my mom and being like, wow, I didn't expect that because it's different from Zara Hatke. Yeah. And I think that's the way it should be. Hi, Sarah of Manas' side. Extremely joyful to see you over here today. Thank you. Uh, I have this question that I've actually been watching a lot of your films lately since Kedana to till now. But this film is quite different. There's a women-centric role and you are playing the leading lady in that. I'm absolutely really grateful to see you in that film. And you're telling a story of a woman, as you, sp as you said right now, the story has not been told yet. So what do you feel like the process is different? And for you, how do you feel? Like, what is the feeling behind it as playing a leading lady? And then there's no... I would say a macho man over there in the movie as such. And then one more request, if you can just actually give us Sara Ki Shairi before you will leave. I honestly think that it's, it's very great. I feel very grateful and it feels real, you know, because this is a story that doesn't need that macho man. I think this is a story of a character that did so much on her own that the only way I can, you know, even pay an iota of a tribute to her is if I do the movie on my own. You know what I'm saying? Like, what did they do? I mean, in 1942, mein galvanizing the Quit India movement. Like, I'm doing a feature film, which I'm very grateful for and I'm not trivializing. But ultimately, all you can do is do your best. I've put my heart and soul in this film. And uh, I, I really hope that it works. Hi, Sarah Vaishnavi here. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for coming from Hope's side and Wilson College side. Um, so TK, you've talked enough about the process. Since we've already discussed that this is such a different film that you've done, the experiences that you've had must also be, you know, uh, completely different from the experiences that you've had before. Can you just share some of the memorable moments that you might have had on this set of Evatan Mere Vatan? I think a lot of the time that I spent with Kannan sir right before our shooting was very important because he would come to me and it was a very non-technical kind of brief that he gave me, which was very interesting. It wasn't like, Are, mein glycerin chahiye, or, you know, thode color lenses laga, or lip gloss. Chahiye. That was not the vibe. It was very like soul kind of hitting. Like there was a shot where I have to look. See again, yeah, I don't know if I'm allowed to say all this. There's a shot where I'm looking at my father for potentially the last time in my life. And I remember giving that shot and we don't have any cuts. It's just one shot. It's a track in shot of me. And I think that moments like that of actually as an actor, you know, what's very important and fulfilling and thrilling is to be able to live your characters fully and truly in those moments. And I remember that shot and I remember actually thinking that if I never see my mother and my mother again, how will it feel? And that feeling can really fill you. And it was moments like this, like, um, you know, the, the moment where I take the oath of celibacy. I mean, apart from the fact that I was shooting Murder Mubarak in really short clothes simultaneously, and I was like, what's going on? You know, but that aside, like, understanding the magnitude of the sacrifice of what that is. I think just truly trying to put yourself in that situation is what the emotion that you feel when you're trying to portray that character's emotion. Thank you nice. so much. Yeah, experience on the set is also done. Your next question. Um, okay. So, uh, since we are moving away from the movie, I think because of the questions, let's start with the original question on everybody's mind. How was the pre-wedding? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> well done. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Janvi and Ananya ke saath dance kiya mene stage par khushi bhi thi. Aur kya? Phir wapis yeah. aagai. <laughs> Promote karne do do film mein. Yehi chal raha hai. Nice. Good question. <laughs> yeah. Hello Sara, myself Akanksha. First of all, I love you for all Thank the movies. <laughs> 
ओके हमने अभी तक शायरी तो सुनी नहीं वो बाकी रह गई है हमारी और हमारे एग्जाम्स आ रहे हैं अभी और मैंने आपको अभी देखा जो भी आप मूवी के बारे में बता रहे हो एग्जैक्ट डेट के साथ सब कुछ और आपने हिस्ट्री में मेजर किया है तो ऑब्वियसली आपकी मेमोरी बहुत अच्छी होगी आई एम ऑल्सो एन आर्ट स्टूडेंट्स तो हमें भी एग्जाम्स के लिए मेमोराइज कैसे करना है थोड़ा बता दो ना रट्टा कैसे मारते हैं ऑनेस्टली ये बात बतानी नहीं चाहिए वॉट आई शुड से इज यू नो यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड द थीम्स एंड ऑल बट इट डजन वर्क लाइक दैट ऑनेस्टली वॉट आई एक तो लिखो आई थिंक राइटिंग हेल्प्स रिमेंबरिंग एनी थिंग क्योंकि जब आप अपने आप लिखोगे ज्यादा एंड दिस मोशन दे यूज टू से दिस इन द डे बट इट्स एक्चुअली ट्रू अगर आप ऐसे ऐसे पढ़ते जाओगे ना तो आई एम नॉट जोकिंग इट हेल्प्स मी दिस रट्टा मोशन आई थिंक इट वर्कस It worked it for means me. Means when you are reading, write it like no cheats and all. Ha pe ha ha ha. Ha. Thank you. I'm not cheating. I'm not cheating. I'm telling you genuinely. Write. When you write your words, your thoughts, your ideas, when you write, then it will be more important to you. And this motion, I'm telling you. Okay. That's very helpful. Do try it. Yeah, this is a very different advice. Shairi. Okay. Which part should be Shairi? 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 Which part should be Shairi?
and sometimes like in my case i was shooting two projects simultaneously and right after i was shooting them i was promoting zarat ke zara vachke so it was very difficult because i was constantly busy 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 doing different things but that wasn't the hard part that was the easy part the hard part was after zara hatke released and there was silence for a month and i was like what's happening matlab abhi bhi mujhe lag raha hai ki chalo aaj aapke sath promote kar rahe hain कल मर्डर मुबारक के साथ कहीं चले जाएंगे परसों फिर से एवतन फिर फिर से मर्डर मुबारक ये चलता रहेगा चलता रहेगा पंद्रह तारीख को थोड़ा कम हो जाएगा फिर ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट को थोड़ा और कम हो जाएगा वॉट एम आई गोन डू ऑन द ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ऑफ मार्च आई डोंट नो एंड दैट्स कैस मी सो आई थिंक वॉट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट इज टू हैव अ सेंस ऑफ बैलेंस नॉट जस्ट रिलेटेड टू योर वर्क यू नीड टू मेडिटेट आई नीड टू मेडिटेट आई नीड टू ट्रैक आई नीड टू स्विम आई नीड टू रीड I need to grow as a human being because otherwise I won't be able to take it. Like I'm already like starting to think, okay, but what is the plan on the twenty second? And I don't want to get into that rut, you know. Right. One last Thank question, you. and then we move on to the rapid fire, which should be fun. Yeah, there. Which should be fun means what? I'm trying to answer the questions honestly. Why is it not fun? Rapid fire will be all about. What do you about, mean? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Sara. Hello. Hi, Rochelle here. I wanted to ask you. So far, you have played many roles. Which of the character you play feel more relatable for you, like you yourself? Relatable. Uh, so I think there are aspects of all your characters that kind of come from you. What's interesting about this film is that, and it's very interesting for me, is the first day of shoot. I didn't relate to Usha at all. when i read the script i didn't relate to usha at all which is why i wanted to do the film because i was like yeah i'll get to portray something that's different to me but at the end of the film i can say that there is more confidence there is more self esteem and there is more idealism and visionary nature of thought in me than i had before so i think more than relate this character has been successfully aspirational for somebody like me and i think that is even bigger than being able to relate but if i had to say i think i probably relate to mukku from kedarnath the most i thought it was rinku from because yeah that could be it, it all it's like so yeah yeah you. yeah it's been with mukku yeah maybe more rinku i also can talk to myself sometimes <laughs> thank you thank yeah. you you know yeah it is rinku you're right You know, you were saying that you know on the first day you didn't relate to the character. How do you do? You think that needs to be fixed, or do you like how do you move? Ahead? I think it's beautiful. Hmm. I think it's beautiful because it's not about. See, you don't judge your characters anyway. You're not supposed to be like, oh, this is good. This you're you're just supposed to play them, and I think, you know, maybe what I mean when I say is I don't relate is I didn't over intellectualize this time. I didn't over analyze and be like isme kya similarity hai kya alag hai kya la sakte hain kya nahi la sakte I just went with it with conviction and belief that I am Usha and I think that at the end of it maybe Sara came out a little more differently then she would have if I went in with a certain kind of you know this kind of prep that I was talking to you all about right. if I had gone in like that it might have been not the same you know while this is important for maybe learning dates it's very important to kind of truly understand and then let yourself flow right. and let yourself go and that's when i think the changes in you know the character the changes on screen and off screen can happen so we'll move on to the rapid fire sara we are very excited about this segment this segment always yeah. is something that a lot of people look forward to ready let's yeah. keep it rapid and full of fire if full of fire if sara meets gandhi ji what would she do what would she say what would she do i would not ask him to recite the oath of celibacy <laughs> like usha did that i would not do right would you like to ask him some question honestly so many things actually where you draw the strength of remaining non violent all the time because there's a difference between satchai and satya you know like we we all can be satcha somewhere or the other i think i'd like to believe but satya is a very pure very distinct idea it's not just honesty there's not a very accurate translation of it what does that mean i would want to know truly nice. if you could do many movies with an actor from the 70s and 80s who would you like to work with many movies with an actor from the 70s or 80s why can't i just work with ranveer singh all the time 
that to you do and you will no, and you once only once only that yeah. you will in the future uh, i rajesh kanna yeah super wow fantastic okay you know usha mehta now we aradhna to <laughs> <laughs> manifesting it right here it's not possible why yaar in bollywood what is not possible <laughs> okay we'll just make a new story <laughs> and a new rajesh kanna <laughs> we'll just make a new story and and cast ranveer singh in yes yeah. right ranveer can do anything guys he's a terrific actor okay uh, usha mehta you've already done any other any other iconic character any other freedom fighter anyone you look up to in the entire world who you would like to make a movie on and be in it wow that's hard um i think maybe um, indira gandhi super manifesting it yeah okay uh, yeah okay. yeah okay ha huh? i wish <laughs> i wish nobody yeah, that would be nice right if you could spread a rumor about yourself what rumor would you like to spread there is the opportunity rumors are spread on their own <laughs> what will i say i'm doing all rnb singh's movies oh my god this is <laughs> so focused name three questions and three topics that should not be discussed in interviews you do so many interviews and you know you more or less people ask the same questions it becomes monotonous because sometimes you're doing 30 in a day anything that you would want people yaar ye mat poocho anything that gets you bored no i don't get bored i i i think that there should be like a little bit of respect yeah which there has been thank you very much today a, a, like throughout huh. you know but that like those like slimy like poking and yeah 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 i hate that <laughs> It, like i just get irritated i just want to get non violent right. right i don't mean i mean violent <laughs> <laughs> yeah i and that's not correct and it takes me out of my character when they're trying to prod me and i'm just like should i just okay and then yeah. you just then yeah. meditation comes in yes. yes right what comes to your mind when i say these names varun dhawan funny funny vicky kaushal See, no, I I don't think I should have answered Varun Dhawan as funny because well, now it's not. Varun Dhawan energetic. Okay. <laughs> Vicky Kaushal just extremely talented. When we are saying <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, it's a reminder to now just stop. Right. <laughs> Kartik Aryan. Uh ch- कार्तिक आर्यन भूल भुलैया रणवीर सिंह फॉर एवर क्रश जस्ट कॉल एम यार राइट ओके कॉल दीपी मेथड एक्टर नो वन ओके मी नहीं इतना भी नहीं ओके ओके मार्केटिंग जीनियस वन एक्टर हुज लाइक वरुण धवन वरुण धवन या ओके प्रैंकस्टर नंबर 1 हु यू वर्क विद एंड हैव बीन प्रैंक अक्षय सर अक्षय दिस इज यू ऑल कांट हेल्प गाइस बट व्हाई नॉट वी बिकम फ्रेंड्स या अक्षय सर अक्षय सर फॉर श्योर ओके यू सेव दीस नंबर्स ऑन योर मोबाइल एज व्हाट करीना कपूरस फोन नंबर करीना कपूर ओके Ibrahim Ali Khan's phone number. Iggy. He told me not to say Iggy and all, but Iggy. Okay, you heard that right? Yeah, there. Yeah. Okay. Stop it. <laughs> right. Saif Ali Khan's phone number. Father. Father. Yes or no? Have you been approached for Pyar Ka Panchnama Three? No. Okay. Will we see you in Ashiki movie? No. Have you ever dated a co-actor? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Even then. <laughs> Okay have you ever regretted signing a film after just signing and not doing it what do you mean have you just regret have you just signed a movie and then you backed out you're like i'm not doing this no okay never done that no. okay so you were saying have you ever regretted signing a movie i don't think i've regretted signing a movie because i no no okay. have you ever spilled too much in an interview and got into trouble <laughs> okay yeah have you ever got angry and replied to trolls in comment section you know yeah I have, and yesterday I I shouldn't say here. Yesterday only. But yesterday I was gonna do it again. Okay. But I didn't do it. क्या बोल रहे थे? 
उसको घास नहीं देनी चाहिए okay, वो हर हर एक्टर के बारे में बुरी चीजें बोलता है आदमी और गंदे गंदे वो बनाता है वो रिव्यूज अश्लील से छोड़ो राइट Lastly, you know, uh, you know, Janvi Ananya, you all are friends, and you all we dance at weddings together. Yeah, you all dance at weddings together, and uh, how do you all ma- balance the? Because there are only these many roles, these many films. Uh, there will be competition. You all will back for the big roles. How do you all balance it that it doesn't affect your friendship? I think being real, it's very important. I also think that uh, you have to have trust in firstly, as far as I'm concerned, the universe, okay. and secondly, also the maker. Like he must be seeing that okay, no, Ananya is better for this role. Oh, okay, no, John will do a better job. Oh no, I want Sara. Yeah. And you have to have that belief then in yourself. Ki yar, agar main chahiye, to main chahiye. Right. You know, that's important. Right. Big hand, guys. Big hand to Sara Ali Khan. But, but we should not let you go that easily. End with a shairi, and they will give you a big Again hand. Again, yeah, another end shairi. Yeah, another shairi about watching, watching Ayatan. That's the topic. No, you know what? Let's do a shairi together. Okay. Okay, the three people. One, two, three. You'll ask me questions. Stand up. Stand up. I'll also okay. stand up. Now you give me the first line of the shairi. Chal. Aaj aayu me Wilson College to promote. You people think shairi will come on remote. <laughs> Then if I don't do on Instagram, I will demote. <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> Big hand, guys! Big hand! Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'll tell you in my own, uh, in my real own way. Okay, I really love all my darshaks a lot, and I think that I've really tried my fair share of fun and masti and humor with everybody. But without pushing it, I'm now inviting you to watch a very new but very honest and personal side of mine. which is in this film and i just hope that usha and sara get the love that you've given bubbly sara all this while because there is a serious sara and there is a sensitive sara and i just want you to hear her this one yeah.